Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you my top 5 tips for Photopy. If you don't know, Photopy is this free alternative to Photoshop, so you can use it totally free directly in your web browser without any installation. You will have a little ad block on the right side, so you got ads, that's why you can use it for free, or you can pay I think $10 and you can use it without ads for 3 months, so that's really fair deal. All features are available for free, nothing is behind paywall, only difference between paid and free version is the ad on your screen. So you got ads on the right side of your screen. Alright, so here's Photopy and today I'm going to share with you five important tips. I think not enough people know how to use this program correctly, it's not only a Photoshop alternative, but this is the, its own thing, right? So we got some interesting tools and techniques. So take a look. Tip number one, use virtual keys. I think almost 30% of Photopy users use it on the go. So they got some quick fix on the tablet or even mobile phone. They want to change something in the PSD file and then they discover that they cannot press this Alt or Control or Shift to select multiple layers or multiple objects and use some kind of blending features. So you can resolve that by using built-in virtual keys. Take a look below your tool panel here at the very button. We got our virtual keys. We can press Control, Alt, Shift. And it's when I got control now here, without using keyboard, I can now select multiple layers. That's really handy if you're working without keyboard, but you need to use one of those keyboard tricks, keyboard shortcuts. Just head to virtual keys here at the bottom of the tool section. That's really handy. And here's my tip number two. If you got simple objects like this one, on quite contrasting backdrop, you can use magic cut to cut them out from the background really quick without any selection. So let's take a look. I will simply click on this photo here. Then I will go to select menu and pick magic cut. There will be pop up window like this. And in this window, you need to decide what is the main object. We mark the main object with the green color. So you can paint this green roughly. You don't need to be precise at all. We're just informing the program what is the object we want to keep. And then we can erase this color if you paint too much with this gray option. I need to erase the red color from here, for example. And then by using the red color, we are informing the program which part of the image we want to cut. We got this live preview here all the time, so that's really nice. You can use command plus, command minus to zoom in, holding spacebar to move up a little bit so we can inspect this image. If you want to make your brush smaller, I recommend using brackets on your keyboard and this way we can get rid of all of those unnecessary elements. Take a look, I didn't do any selection at all, I just paint green and red a little bit and now I can click OK and here's my new layer. We cut out this flower really quickly and we don't need to have any precision. Super handy, especially on phone for quick edits. All right, that was our tip number two, use magic card if you can. Tip number three, if you are working on your computer, you can use Alt plus scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Depends what was your previous editing software. Some people like to zoom with keyboard, that's me. I like to press common plus, common minus, but many people love to zoom in and out with the scroll wheel. To do that, you need to press Alt, or option key on Mac and then you will zoom in and out. Keep in mind you will zoom in to your mouse, to your cursor. So you can position your cursor on the point of interest first and then Alt or option and scroll and I'm here. 
I can zoom out, move my mouse here, and I zoom into this area. So that's really handy. If you don't like to zoom in out with keyboard, you can do it with your mouse. Just press Alt. And my tip number four is pattern preview. That's really cool feature here. So let me just draw some simple and ugly pattern. Don't judge me here. Okay, let's just pick very generic brush and try to draw something. Okay, so let's make we got line like this, line like this, and then I change the color maybe. Make line here and here. Okay, this is supposed to be a pattern, so it would be really handy for me if I can see it duplicating itself around. This way I can evaluate that this pattern is nice, so I should work on it. This normally you need to kind of copy and paste the same thing, put it all together, make some kind of mock-up for yourself. But here we can just go to view and then there is a pattern preview option. Let's click on that and take a look. This option is duplicating my whole layer. I'm zooming out right now. And this way I can quickly evaluate my pattern. I can even keep working on it with this mode on. So I go to brush tool and take a look. I can keep working on it with this preview on and it's duplicating on every preview box. Super handy if you are into pattern design. Of course, my pattern right now is not great, but I think you got the idea, right? We can zoom in and out, kind of try to simulate what would be the original, original size of the pattern. And if you are done with it, you can, of course, go to view again and switch off pattern preview and we are back to the normal mode now so that's really handy for people designing patterns pattern design preview don't forget about that and the last tip for today is the one that should be obvious but it's not you can use photo p offline it's not only available in the web browser all right so that's the biggest concern here, right? We are using this web-based software. It's great. It's free. We don't need to crack Photoshop. We can use this guy for free. But what if I don't have internet on the go? As you can see, I'm using the install version of Photopea right now. So you can do it the same way. Simply head to window in your web browser. Sorry, to more. You need to head to more in your web browser and then there will be install photopea option here as you can see in my case it's gray out if you click on it you will create a shortcut in your system to photopea it will still run in web browser but you will be able to use it offline based on that shortcut that you got all right so let's summarize our five tips for today you can use photopea offline no problem with that you can use pattern preview if you are working on patterns you can use Alt plus scroll to zoom in out quickly. Don't forget to use Magic Cut if you want to get rid of backdrop in simple images. And you can use Virtual Keys if you are on the go on your iPad or, or your phone without actual keyboard. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check my other tutorials or even subscribe for more content like this. I will see you in my next lesson. Bye.